apa Welcome to Your Body in Focus, where we give you health tips to keep your body in the best shape possible. My name is Afuya, and I sing with Focus, but I'm also a registered dietitian that gives you health tips to keep your body healthy. Today I'm going to share with you a traditional West African recipe and it's going to be yam with eggplant stew. If you don't like eggplant, don't worry, you're gonna love this one. Anyway, since it's from West Africa, you see that I am representing my Ghana and Nigerian heritage today. It's very easy to do this recipe and you're gonna enjoy it, I promise. This is the yam that we're going to use. Mostly this yam is eaten in West Africa and you can get it at an African store if you can find a local African store. Your second best bet is to go to an Asian market or a Mexican market. A lot of times they call it um, nyame in an Asian market and that's what it looks like. It's really big like that. So what I'm going to do is peel it and then I'm going to cut it into wedges before I boil it. These are the ingredients that we're going to use to make the stew that we're going to eat with our yam. First, you have the eggplant, and of course it's eggplant stew, so we'll start with that. You can use one large eggplant or two medium-sized um, eggplants. Then some crushed red pepper, about two bell peppers. I have about seven medium-sized tomatoes two onions, we're going to season it with salt, and the oil that I'm going to use is actually palm oil, which is sometimes difficult to find unless you go to a foreign food store. If you don't want to use palm oil or if you can't find it, just go ahead and use canola oil and your recipe is still going to come out fine. So now I'm going to take all of the um, vegetables that I put in, the tomatoes, the bell pepper, and the onion, and I'm going to blend them until they're very smooth together. The palm oil actually comes in solid form, so you actually have to put it in warm water, like I did here, um, just to have it melt. And you can see that it's like melting that way. Now, otherwise it's solid. It's actually one of the few um, vegetable oils that is solid at room temperature. If it's solid at room temperature, that means it's a saturated fat, so you don't want to overdo it. I'm going to pour a little bit of palm oil in the pan first, about maybe a fourth cup of oil in the pan, and when it's warm, then I'm going to add in the tomato sauce. Alright, you want to be very careful. Don't let the oil get too hot, otherwise it'll splash and burn you. Our stews come to a boil. And now what I'm going to do is add in the eggplant that I chopped up. Make sure that you leave the skin on, because the skin is really high in nutrients. Okay, and then I'm going to stir it up. And let that soak in. These ingredients are optional. You don't have to use them. I just like to spice my stew up with different seasonings. I'm going to add garlic powder, chicken style seasoning, and it's actually, um, mine is not real chicken broth. You can use real chicken broth if you prefer. And then a little bit of curry. And I use about a tablespoon um, of the garlic powder and the chicken style seasoning. And then the curry, gosh, just about half a tablespoon. Of course, you know that in Africa we really don't measure, we just kind of eyeball it and taste, so it's important to taste your soup as you're going along and make sure that it tastes good. 
I'm peeling the yam and you can see that the skin is about this thick. You want to make sure that you don't take too much or waste. You can see that the texture is a little bit, I don't want to say slimy, but it is, and that's fine. It doesn't mean that it's bad. That's just how the texture is. When your eggplant is cooked, it actually changes color a little bit and it almost becomes a little more clear in color. I've been cooking this for about 20 minutes now. So you're going to take um, a masher and just mash your eggplant, all of it. Just keep mashing it until you can't see any of your cubes. Now this is what it looks like when it's done. You see how smooth it is? It's no longer chunky. It looks really good. Actually, this is taking me back to my childhood. When my mom used to make this. She'd be so proud. I haven't over assimilated. Cooking the yam is super easy. All you have to do is get a big pot, bring your water to a boil and once it's at a boil you're gonna add some salt in there so that'll flavor it and then it's very similar to like when you're doing potatoes boiling potatoes and just throw them in the water See how I've cut the yam into big chunks, by the way? Don't cut them too small. I've been cooking the yam for about 20 minutes now, so it should be done. But to make sure, I'm going to check by just inserting a fork in there. Let's see, yeah, oh yeah, it's definitely done. Goes in soft, comes out. So if you like this recipe, you can get so many more African recipes on my recipe collection from all different parts of Africa. You can get it on our website at opusmusicafrojohn.com. It's like I always say, eating healthy doesn't have to hurt. Keeping your body in focus can help you keep your body in the best shape possible to be service for God. Until next time, keep your body in focus.